menu protection options in Proloquo to go uh, will allow you to set a passcode to restrict access to the options icon in the bottom right of the tray. And restrictions can also allow you to remove three of these uh, central options from the icon tray as well. In order to access any of these features, we're going to click on the options menu. First, going to go down to restrictions. So the simplest restrictions are just turning off the edit keyboard and or home button options. They're toggled on in this case, but if we go ahead and select that toggle, we'll see now the editing button has been removed as an option from the tray. If we click keyboard, that's gone. And then home is the third one that we can remove. Because there are some necessary tools here for the users to uh, have access to, we're unable to hide that particular icon. But the options icon is one that's got a lot of power and we might want to restrict further. We can't remove it, but we can restrict it further. So in order to do that, we're going to go back to the main options panel. And there is a lock options feature that's turned off. i go ahead and click that enable lock and then we're going to change the passcode. The passcode is something that you'll want to share with the team and make easy for the team to remember but not something easy for the student to guess. I avoid using number sequences like one two three four. Very often I will use zip codes. My office zip code is one five one two zero. That's what I'm going to use here one five one two zero and we'll save that. And now with this lock enabled, once we exit back into uh, the main page, if we make an attempt to go into the options, it will prompt us to enter that passcode. You want to make sure you're doing this out of the student's line of sight, because once they see it and learn the code, it defeats the purpose of having it. I'll go ahead and enter my code in. Choose OK. And now that I'm in the options menu, I can reset or do any of the other controls that you needed to come in to take care of. I'm going to, for my device, however, return editing keyboard and home functions back and also turn off this locking option. Again, this configuration now gives this user access to the full complement of tools, but it does allow them to get in to options and potentially do some damage. Knowing about the lock options is a helpful thing for the team.